How is the pace going in comparison to your peers or to other projects in your past? So the pace is going at an acceptable pace. It's not booming. We're not, they're not flying out the shelves like they, 157 did when we started, you know, I don't know, six or seven years ago and we were the only game in town. There's certainly much more competition. There's more supply. But actually, I think at the super, super luxury uh, level, right, with the absolute top, I think there's actually less supply. Look, Gary, there are uh, reports that the market is glutted at the luxury level. Do you find that you have to offer discounts in these market conditions so to, to move your units? So to some extent, yes. So depending on where the units were priced at to begin with. So 157, for example, we are offering discounts because it was priced in another market. We've raised prices there a number of times. We don't think we've, we've priced at a crazy price. So across the street, they priced at over 8,000 a foot. They've sold at over 8,000 a foot. And we're probably 15% below that on average. We have priced for this market. That doesn't mean to say that we won't have to discount a little bit, but we think we've priced for this market. And, and we shouldn't have to you know, really drop prices too much. So have you seen that foreign investors have been pulling back in the New York real estate market, either on a commercial or residential luxury uh, side? What do you see? There were a, a tremendous amount three or four years ago, and the Chinese government had kind of said, OK, let's go buy up the world. That, that has pulled back somewhat, but it's not non-existent. So we still see very good foreign demand from all over Asia and from all over the rest of the world. The slowdown that people talk about in New York City is really not demand-driven. The demand is still fully there. It's really supply-driven. We're looking at a tough 2019 second queue. New York is the largest investor's market, and you're about to open. Retail's going in in October. You're on track to open 100% in 2020. Trade head headwinds led by the U.S.-China trade dispute, recession jitters, Federal Reserve moves, you're not phased? Federal Reserve moves, if we look at what's happened, the interest rates have crashed. So, I mean, that's usually good for real estate. So right. we, we like the low interest rates, no issue there. Um, but how about the impact of some of these recession jitters, trade disputes when it comes to foreign buyers, foreign investors? I personally don't see any recession. We have uh, unemployment at 3.7%, uh, interest rates going down, the way they are now is just going to give us another rocket boost, I think. Ten-year treasuries are nearing record lows, um, and that's, again, great for real estate because real estate generates income, and, it, and obviously the alternative uh, to, to a really safe investment like real estate is bonds, and bonds aren't bringing anything now. So I think the trade jitters, obviously, and the, the differences between China, uh, I think the, actually the president's doing the right thing in terms of you know, wanting to negotiate a better deal. And I think that uh, people still want to invest in New York City.